Thank you for joining Waking Up With D. Today is Friday. I have the I took the day off because there's two really special events going on in my family. So stay tuned for this vlog to see me do a little bit of errands, but spend some time with my family at some really special events. This is definitely a vlog that is different than what you normally are gonna see from me. So make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe. But let's get into this. So right now I got, my head really hurts. I can't find my Tylenol. I bought a uh, freaking fruit punch um, Gatorade from Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to. And I just cussed out that guy, as you can see. And I don't care. Because when people are going to act like they have a fucking attitude, and that's how they act with some smart ass smug look on their face saying some bullshit out their window, I don't care. Try me. Go in and go ahead and try me. So I need to cool down. That did not make me feel good at all. I don't know where he was coming from, but cause anyways, the pharmacy I go to has a parking lot that's like, it has two different parking lots and there's like bars across from the main parking lot. Anyways, if I accidentally honk and you're gonna act crazy to me for it, you better believe my mouth is gonna go off. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had my alarm set so it went off. Do I understand that sometimes that could put me in danger? I absolutely do. In a small parking lot, I wasn't in your lane or anything. You hear a little horn accidentally motherfucking honk. And you're gonna get, you're gonna act like a piece of shit to me? I don't know why, like, I get really mad. Yeah, I did. The, oh, yes. I need to cool down because you know why? I need to cool down. But if you want to see me upset, this is a one way to surely do it. For you to act like that just over a fucking simple horn honk that was an accident. Oh, anyways. Man, my head really hurts. This does not help my head like feel better. I don't think you guys have ever seen this side of me. You guys haven't. Ooh, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down now. Mm -hmm. Going to my pharmacy that I enjoy. And I'm going to. My head really hurts. Okay, so I just went to the pharmacy, got some Tylenol. I have to meet my family so that I can um, show them where to go for um, this event for my little sister. She's an alum from the same university. She's gonna be an alum from the same university I'm an alum from. And today they're having, I don't know what it's technically called, but it's the um, celebration for the, um, excuse me, the native students who are graduating at my university. So it's an exciting event. My little sister just found out about it like two days ago. Luckily I was able to take the time off and then luckily my family is able to come up. So, it's, they're, my family's getting here right before the ceremony, and then we're going to all, like, I'm going to show them where to go, where to park, so hopefully parking's not too crazy, but we're going to see, you know? So, I think, um, like, excuse me for seeing that side, showing that side of me. I know that it's not becoming, I know that it's not Christ-like. I'm a Christian and like, as a Christian, it is important to strive to be Christ-like. Um, I shouldn't have flipped off like that, honestly. I should have ignored him because if someone's going to 
get bent out of shape over nothing, then honestly, there's no point in, um, I don't know, there's just no point, you know, in like flipping out about it because people are going to behave as they're going to behave. That's not going, that's not my experience. I mean, that's not, I can only control myself, right? So I shouldn't have flipped out. Like I said, it's not Christ-like, it's not becoming of me. Honestly, I don't recommend it. Is that my family? I don't recommend it. I think it's dangerous because you never know how people are going to get. Oh, man. So, yeah, my family's here. It's called Tawanka Hall on the second floor is a dining hall and I used to eat at that dining hall a lot when I was a student. Our last yeah. I told Sylvia, so how do you feel being in the middle of Do they Ana know you have something to do? Well, good afternoon everybody. Your graduation. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Sylvia Ana and I'm here today celebration of our students who accomplish things that we know is not easy you know you know either being non-traditional students or students who are coming right out of high school but to accomplish something of your goal and the things that you accomplish is something that will carry you on in the future so my name is Evelyn Melting Tallow. I am the uh, coordinator and recruiter for the American Aid Studies program and the American Indian Studies program is honoring the students here. And we are celebrating, we actually have from, from fall of 2020 all the way to, to summer of 2022, 41 Native American students who have graduated with degrees, right? Bachelors, masters. So that's a huge compliment. But when I received the list, I was going, wow, you know, because that's what we need in our community. We need to have our native students out there, not only to celebrate their accomplishments, but also to celebrate themselves, you know, because this road of education is not easy, and especially the last two years of the pandemic, and for you guys to be here today to graduate is huge. I want to applaud you guys. <laughs> I also want to applaud the parents, the brothers, the sisters, the uncles, the children, right? Because all the people, and we know it takes us a community, it takes a village to help support our natives to be able to be successful. 
So I want to thank you. And that is a huge accomplishment. So today we are here to honor you. And so we're going to go ahead and start, um, like I said, my name is Evelyn Melting Tello. And um, I always do this because it's so important because my uncle um, always said to me that family is important. When you introduce yourself, you introduce your family. So my mother is Blackfeet from Browning, Montana. My father was blood from Santa Fe, Alberta, Canada. So I am a citizen of both countries and a citizen of both nations. And to me, that's so important because we identify where we come from and who we are is by our family. So, and I also want to introduce Kathleen. <laughs> yeah. She's an amazing person. Uh, I will, I, I have to say kudos in front of everybody. I was not here for the powwow. Um, I'm sorry, I was on vacation in Kauai. But, um, but I have to say is that Kathleen stepped up helped out our students you know knows everybody she's been doing this for 17 years so that's why i so appreciate her and everything she has done for the students and for the american indian um, studies program so i really really appreciate her and i just wanted to publicly say that so uh, i'm aaron i'm asking you to come up because when we all do our when we are in the lands of our ancestors, we definitely do a land acknowledgement. But why do we do that? Because you have to understand the land that we stand on here, our sacred land of our different tribes, you know? And so we want to say thank you. We want to acknowledge them. So Erin, would you please go ahead and read our land acknowledgement? Sure, uh, I'm Erin Ross. I am a citizen of the Cowlitz Sunken tribe. And I am the Director of Tribal Relations uh, here at Eastern Washington University, and I want to congratulate all of you on your huge achievement. Uh, the American Indian Studies Program at Eastern Washington University would like to acknowledge we are on the traditional lands of the first people, past and present of this region, including the Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, Kalispell, Nez Perce, the Confederated Tribes of the Colville Indian Reservation, and the Yakima Nation. We honor them as the traditional caretakers of the land and respect the enduring relationship that exists between all indigenous people and their traditional territories and homelands. <laughs> as we move forward into providing an open future in academics, we will strive to offer more teaching and services inclusive of the histories, cultures, and traditions of the Native American people of this region. We will continue to explore how we might build relationships with the sovereign tribal nations whose students we educate in hopes to lead Eastern Washington University to be an inclusive space for fostering innovation and collaboration. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. I do want to let you know that our director for the American Indian Studies program was not able to be here today, and so that would be Dr. Pedra um, Pedra. And she's our director of our program, but she sends congratulations to all you graduates. So I want to uh, say that on behalf of her is to congratulate you all. And so she's very sorry that she wasn't able to attend today. Also, we'd like to uh, acknowledge Dr. Nidia Martinez, who's Dean of our College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Services. Thank you so much for being here today. I know you have an incredible uh, busy schedule. What's so awesome about media, who I'll call by first name, as the Dean of, of our uh, college, she came to the powwow mm -hmm. and they had a great time. Uh, she did her tribal dance. Erin <laughs> took uh, media out to do her first year tribal. So welcome to the family. Yay! Hi. sign-in sheet, that'd be great. The math on the tables are you, for you to take, they're from our American Indian Studies program. And so with that, I see so, welcome. Yes, and before we get started on saying your your name and have you come up here, one of the things that I, I always do this because I, it's so important because 
you are our future and you are our mentors, right? So when we say your name and you get your certificate, I would love for you to say what you graduated in and your tribal affiliation because you are, you are the people who are going out into our world now and being our mentors to other students in the future. So, and then you will get your sash, and then, um, could you come up? And then what we have here at the end is a medicine bundle for you, and we thank you. So for us, very spiritually, this is so important because these are things that, um, for me, right, in our culture, is water so important? And then, and then also saying things to our creator. You know, holding this creator. So, so we want to thank you. And so, in this medicine bundle, we have sage, tobacco, and sweetgrass. Are you going to do them? And then shake your hand. Aaron, do you want to get up at the end? Sure. And you shake hands. We want to shake hands, and then um, for our students. Okay. Also, I would like to acknowledge and recognize Michelle Seifert, who is, uh, I don't know how many times she's graduated from EWU, but president of the Native American Alumni Association. <laughs> That's up to you if you're wonderful. If you want to, okay. But yes, <laughs> Michelle has been such a strong supporter of the program and just wonderful what she's done, you know, helping out the students. So, Michelle, begin. Uh, Tara Berber, would you please come up? And if I mispronounce your name, correct me, and my apologies. Here. Oh, oh, here. You can shake or we can do elbow, whichever you want to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am Waitress, and Health Psychology is my major. And you can come up to take photos too. If you want, I, of course. Yeah, you can. Get your shot. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I love you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll just. Oh yeah, they have a veggie one right there, mom. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That, oh man. Oh uh, yeah, I can't even hear. Everyone hears in the whole place. Hey, over there, did you hear? <laughs> but I can't hear. I love you. Here, we're just gonna give it a hug. I don't know. Do it again. Beat her. Beat her. Try to keep your thumb straight. <laughs> One, <two. laughs> you did say three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's do it. Oh. One, One two, two, three. I declare a thumb. You don't have Six, to say. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Okay. I had her down. Grandma's going to Okay. Oh, she got me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel your bone back there. <laughs> you want my radish? 
Yeah. yeah. Are you excited? Yes. I am. We are? What did you get, Mom? This is gonna be on burrito. This is gonna be on YouTube. My grandma got a veggie burrito. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Do you want the hot sauce? Can you get the red kinds? Ayana, please. Is that okay if she gets that? You don't want those? Can I have them? Oh, oh wait, I'm gonna have one. Okay. You have a red kind. Mm -hmm. You have that one. Oh, a red kind. Okay. Mm. I you don't love these? They're silly. What? <laughs> None of us. I just love them. I don't know why. Because I never have them. That's a okay. Thank you. I thought it was I thought it was ketchup. <laughs> Grandma doesn't even care from Grandma. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I love her. So normally do people eat the radishes on the side or inside? What kind of meat is that? Uh, Al Pastor and carne asada. Is, is that... watch this whole video omg make sure you comment down below the fish emoji hashtag fish thank you so much for watching this full video 
please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Also, hit that notification bell so every time I upload, you are notified. Like, comment, and share. We're getting so close to 200 subscribers. And here you'll just see some pictures from throughout the different events that I showed in this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take care. And like we always say, there is only one you. So don't forget to take care of you. Bye, you guys.